Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 minute gamer and today we're here in Black One Blood Brothers. It's a Steam play test for. It's a new tactical shooter. It is a little bit rough around the edges. The animations eh, suck. Um, the AI needs improved hugely, but it is very early access. It's what you expect. But what I wanted to do is kind of bring it to your attention. If you wanted to Steam wishlist it, you can also apply to be in the playtest as well. So you can check it out yourself. But there are some really interesting features regarding this one that I quite like. So guys, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell. Smash that like button and comment below to let me know what you think. Right. First thing I'm going to show you, just my one here, is your squad menu. You have kind of like these um, squads here. You can edit the operator. This set is like turning around like that. You can do anything. You can change hair. You can make them look different. You can change the color of the eyes, the sound, the aggression levels, name. Name after me, little cat how they stand when they walk their default stance you can then change the outfit as well so you've got all these so you can like wear a hoodie you can wear different pants you can wear different vests and have all these different colors you can wear different gloves you can wear hats and again different colors you can have a gas mask beard viking beard you can wear glasses Again, change the color. You can wear different backpacks. You can do things like that, like different like things. I presume that's some sort of uh, camouflage. In here, you've got all these weapons. So you can go, right, I want that weapon. I want a hollow ghost sight on it. A uh, flashbang for grenade. There's some glow sticks, in fact. And you can add different things like sights on it, handcuffs. We go to here he has all different sites i want a hollow site actually there you go you can see it changes straight away actually no we'll get that site on it straight away as you can see changes the site up for you you've got silencers so i want a silencer on this gun so i can go quiet you can then put different laser pointers on which is usually good for me i, I like laser pointers too fair as long as they're not red because i can't see red <laughs> um different grenades different everything you've got so even down to your knife shields so you can give yourself a ballistic shield then you've got your secondary weapons as well which you can put different attachments on you got weights you got things down here you can save it or not save it or just go to the one you can make new characters from it and you can do this for all of your squad as well so there's a lot to take in there there's even a canine unit as well and yes this little canine dog runs around which is just very very cool so moving on from that i'll show you what this game's like there's not a huge amount in the game at the moment because it is kind of new bearing in mind it's only early access but i'll show you how it kind of all works we'll go on the train and i'll show you how the training works because this is kind of like explain how all the game modes work Right, so you have your squad here. You can do what's called a battle plan. So if I press caps, it takes me into this battle plan. And you can do a lot of stuff. So Ripley, that person I just uh, made, you can set the formation. You can put the spacing in. So you can say, right, I want you uh, 10 meters apart. And then he has your orders. So you can go, right, I want you to move to there. Once you get to there, I want you to... If I turn all the doors on... Uh, where's the door menu down here? I can go, right, I want you to go to there and open that door for me because that could be closed. So I'm saying, right, okay, get to that door and open it for me. Once you're in there, I want you to go to that window and then offer cover and fire over there. I can open the infantry of the person and select different weapons and stuff. I can follow them. I can make the switch weapon. I can put a naval laser on, right? I want you to enable your laser. I want you to go prone. I want you to go firing i want you to be full auto and fire at will with no restrictions 
and also there's things down there as well like keep an eye out you can then look at different layers of the build you go into i can then click on trio and i'm like right why don't you go there and offer cover and fire across to there right chris i want you to interact with that door yeah and open it for me then once you've done that i want you to go to there and solomon i think we will mm, should we yeah we'll leave it that i'll just show you how it all works so i'll come out of our tab i'm then gonna go to james just so we can watch it all unfold and there we go they're just gonna go off and do their own thing so if i follow this guy you see they hit our target very noisily but he's took it out there you go that guy's <laughs> open the door and then jumped on over so you've got different sites as well so you've got that one and that one so depending on my mood and you see they're all crawling now because i told them to be in that stance and then they'll follow different teams you can make different teams out of these you can um you know you can control different ones just by clicking them on press tab right gibson i want to be you you can see they're taking out some targets now and offering cover and fire bang 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 right i think you kind of get the hint how this works it's a lot like rainbow six um raven shields are called back in the days there is a tutorial showing how to do everything but it's all just like um videos doesn't really let you interact it should be a bit bigger i think also maybe just full screen on there that could be just me right that's main menu back out to the start my kitten is about, I apologize, she's on top of my PC, so if it turns off, you'll see. Um, so there's going to be three types of game modes. There's Special Ops, Prisoner of War, which sounds really cool. Like, you've got a escape um, with no weapons or anything. And there's also Siege, which again, really sounds like a proper defense. I love defensive modes. So you've got to stay alive against the enemy as long as you can. you got, these are all the maps. I mean, I presume there's going to be more, but look at that training ship there. And you've got Central Hospital, Ruins. Uh, you've only got three in here. You've got an airport, a villa, or Aljan province. That's a massive map, that one. We'll go for that one. Just to sh I'm just going to show you how it works. What's really cool then is you can then select what kind of missions you want and how many missions you want to do. So you can do a random mission. You can put, right, I want a sensitive document mission. Then you can say, right, I want a target to eliminate. And you can put these different missions into the game. So you can have different things to do and you get more XP. What's really cool is this bit, the difficulty. So you can set everything up. So you can say, right, I want these to be like quite rubbish if you're having a hard time. You can also put them on low. So there might only be one. You can put inaccurate, inaccurate locations on. So that means the, the intel might be wrong when you get there. You can have no herd, you can have no ammo count, no warning count, no spot, no teammates, no waypoints. Night, random insertion, so you don't know where you're going to start. You can put your health, so you can say I want to be low. You can put fatigue on, injuries on, photo mode on or off. So, how cool is that? Then your squad, you can be like, right, I want these, but I don't want to take Shane. I don't want you, I don't want them to come in with me, because it's quite a small mission. So, I'm going to click begin. And you'll kind of see there is these cinematic work and progress screens which is little cutscenes. this has nothing to do with the mission but it looks kind of cool you know so off we'll just jump straight in right so here so you can insert here or there we're gonna get ripley to insert there my cat's gonna think i'm calling my name and then you can make squads so you can be right i want you two on there and then them are making a squad and that one's made a squad on their own right we'll move you down like that yeah, we'll have two, two, and one. We'll have two, two, and one. That sounds good to me. Tick. And the extraction point will go back to here as well. So once this loads in. I this is a really small mission, this one. Um, so if I enter caps, you can see here has all our objective. So I want um use to. I want you to open this door for me. So if you could open that door and use two, I want you to provide cover and fire about up there. I think that's good until we get started. Whoa, Jesus, they're straight into it. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. 
I can see why you're offering cover and fight now. Hey, look, there's a little dog. How cool is that? I think I am like, I think we've lost some. Yeah, someone's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> like, lost half the team. Right, we'll get in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there. We'll swap to sidearm, I think, for this bit. So we can sweep and clear a little bit easier. Yeah. Is anyone else around? Good. Did you cut through that door? Right, he has the intel. Oh, where the hell have I gone? Now oh, yeah, let's go and get this intel. Cover data. Yeah, look at us. We've Cam got the the high value tog. I think he's outside. There he is. Oh, whoa, 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 Right, he's made a move for it. He's made a move for it. Is that a bad guy or a good guy? I can't tell. He's now a dead guy. Oh. Good job, an elite operator. Look at that. Took them all out. Uh, we do have someone wounded. Uh, where are you? We could do get you. Oh, yeah, you'll do. Oh. Oh, wow, Vamo. Wow, Vamo. Oh. Damn, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Everyone's down, everyone's down. This operation went badly. <laughs> we'll mark the body. Mark the body for specs. There we go. Done. Yeah, so apart from that going terribly, <laughs> you can see kind of what's going on right i'll show you this like big map because the big map's kind of cool so we'll go new mission yeah you map this is a massive map this one um just put a few random missions in like so difficulty we'll leave it as it is this time we'll turn the hood off um and we'll put a random insertion and we will do yeah that'll do this map is massive. As you can see, they're just testing the cutscenes out. But I'm sure at some point they'll have some bearing. I also shouldn't have called my character after my cat because my cat is going crazy. Right. Space to skip. Look at the size of this map. It is huge. Look at it all. Emissions can be anywhere in here. Enemies can be anywhere in here as well. So, yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. Right, guys, I just want you to move down to there. Okay, have we got a doggy? Yay, there's a doggy. See what? The animations are a bit janky. <laughs> but, yeah, how cool is that? That this can have random missions, dynamic missions. You can, I could put snipers up on the hill to watch down and you can fully, you don't even have to control it. I could control it mainly from here if I wanted to. Like I could just leave my guy right back there. There's something there, 93. Um, which is down here. So I think what I'm going to do is select all. And I want all used to go here, wherever this is. See what is his enemy spotted. Can't see the enemy, but I guess my guys can. Oh, they're 300 meters away, miles away. Let's see what this is. And Ripley is currently sat on top of my computer, which has a new habit of doing that. I don't know if it's warm or something, but I do worry she's going to press the power off on these days and corrupt the massive recording, uh, which would be fun. What is here? It's like 40 meters away. Oh. 
by him. Well, that was terrible. He's down, he's down, he's down. Those reload animations need some work, like. There's a weapons cache around here. Oh, okay. You look suspicious. Are you weapons cache? I think it's in this building. Objective is spotted. What? Huh. Where's the weapons cache? Guys? Okay. Oh, they should take that out. I think, I mean, if I was the weapons cache, this is kind of where I would be. But you know what? I, I just think it's such a cool idea for a game. And if they can get the animations right and working and things like that and polish this up and really put some real work into this game. There's such a solid basis here for a great, great game. Like, all the groundwork is here. It's There's no issues. It just needs some polishing. And I think this... If this game comes out, and when it comes out, it could be one of the best tactical shooters out there for such a long time. Because this is what a lot of us are crying out for, is this sort of gameplay. We want this sort of tactical gameplay. We want to have operators. We want to be able to plan. We want to be able to... Uh, yeah, we want to be able to plan and execute and... And do all these sort of things. We want battle plans. We want medics. We want people to take on different rules. We don't want everything to be the same. I want to be able to get my teams to do different stuff. So I get Ripley and Terrio to go and attack a different building. Chris and Solomon attack a different building. James to provide Overwatch. That's what I want to do. That's what Tactical is all about. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this game. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.